Do you want to give your character's hair some movement? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your character's hair look more dynamic by adding animation to it. This is a great way to add some life and personality to your animations, and it's not as hard as you might think. If you haven't watched my previous video on how to animate rain and thunder effect on a window background, I highly recommend you check it out first, as it will help you understand some of the concepts and techniques I'll be using in this tutorial. So, without further ado, let's get started. We need to open Photoshop for this part. If you don't have it, you can download a free trial or use MS Paint. Just kidding, don't use MS Paint. <laughs> Use the pen tool to mask the hair you need. You need to cut out each hair that will move individually. Right click and click on make selection. Choose this tool and right click and do like me. Now you got the separate element. Congratulations, you are one step closer to becoming a Photoshop master. Make the same process for each hair. I know it's boring, but think of the final result. Don't forget to rename them. Otherwise, you will have a hard time finding them later. For this big part, you see it is behind the first hair that we masked before, so you need to imagine the hidden part of the hair that we will redraw later. After that, you need to mask the forehead to mask the shadow. Choose the same tool as me and select the whole area. Don't worry, you can always undo if you mess up. Select brush tool and pick out the color using alt plus click. To resize the brush, hold alt. Redraw like me. Don't need to be perfect, just good enough to fool the eye. Same process for this hair. You know the drill by now. And now on the back layer, create a new layer. Layers are your best friends in Photoshop. And now start drawing like you can. You can do it. I believe in you. Too many things are hidden, so I've created a layer mask. Layer masks are also your best friends in Photoshop. With black and white color brush, you can hide or show parts. Black conceals, white reveals.
Now save and import it to After Effects. Reorder them. Make sure they are in the right order, or you will have a bad hair day. If you got some drawing mistakes, you can mask them out in After Effects. Or you can go back to Photoshop and fix them there. Select Puppet Tool and add two points, one at the start of the hair and the second at the end. Alt-click on the stopwatch and add a wiggle expression to the second puppet. Wiggle frequency, amplitude. This is the formula for the wiggle expression. And make it as you like. You are the boss now. Same process for every hair. I know, it's repetitive, but think of the final result. For this one, I'm going to add a manual rotation. Because I like to have some control over my hair. Take the anchor point and move it at the start of the hair. This will make the rotation more natural. Animate the rotation like me. And add an expression to loop forever the keyframes animation. This will make your hair move endlessly, like Rapunzel. Now final touch, I'm going to link the little hair to the big one. Alt click to the point that you want to link and do like me. Now you can adjust the position by adding after the expressions. This will fine tune your hair movement, like a hairdresser. Select both top layers for the shadow and pre-compose. Add set matte and choose the front head layer. This will make the shadow fit to the front head, like a glove. As you can see, it doesn't fit to the front head, so follow me. I lied. It's not like a glove. It's more like a sock. Add fill effect and black color. This will make the shadow darker. Adjust the opacity, this will make the shadow softer. You are done. You did it, you are amazing. You completed this tutorial on how to create dynamic hair animation in Adobe After Effects. Well done. This is so fun. You just learned how to make your character's hair look more realistic and expressive using some simple concepts and techniques. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think of this tutorial, or if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.